Ever wondered how to grow your own berries at home? It's a delightful journey, nurturing berry plants from seedlings to fruit-bearing wonders. Picture the satisfaction of biting into a juicy strawberry or a tangy blueberry, fresh off the vine, knowing it's a product of your own green thumb. Not to mention homegrown berries are a healthier, tastier alternative to store-bought ones, packing a punch of antioxidants and nutrients. Berries come in a delightful array of types, each with its own unique charm. From the summer favorite strawberries to the tiny but mighty blueberries, the tart raspberries, and the luscious blackberries, there's a berry for every palate. And the best part? You can cultivate them all in the comfort of your own backyard. Whether you have a sprawling garden, a small urban balcony, or a sunny windowsill, you can embark on this berry adventure. Join us as we explore the world of homegrown berries. Before you start planting, it's crucial to understand the types of berries you want to grow. So, let's take a moment to explore the beautiful world of strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. First off, we have strawberries, the red gems of the garden. They come in three main types, June-bearing, ever-bearing, and day-neutral. June-bearing strawberries produce a large, single harvest in late spring or early summer, while day-neutral and ever-bearing types bear fruit throughout the gardening season, Next, meet the blueberries, nature's little antioxidant powerhouses. These berries thrive in acidic soil and require a chill period during winter to produce fruit. Blueberries are divided into three types, high bush, low bush, and rabbit eye. Each type has unique characteristics, so choose the one that best suits your climate and garden conditions. Moving on to raspberries, the perennial favorites. They come in two main types, summer bearing and fall bearing or ever bearing. Summer-bearing raspberries give one large harvest in summer, while ever-bearing raspberries produce two crops, one in summer and one in fall. Last but not least, let's talk about blackberries. They're similar to raspberries but their fruit is larger and they have a more robust growth habit. Blackberries come in two types, erect and trailing. Erect blackberries are self-supporting while trailing blackberries need a trellis or some other type of support. Each of these berries has unique growing requirements. For instance, strawberries prefer full sun and well-drained soil, while blueberries need acidic soil and a good chill period. Raspberries and blackberries, on the other hand, love sun and fertile, well-drained soil. So, before you start planting, take some time to research and understand the specific needs of your chosen berries. Consider factors like sunlight, soil type, and climate. Remember, a happy berry plant is a fruitful one. With a good understanding of your chosen berries, you're now ready to start planting. A fruitful garden begins with proper preparation. Indeed, the success of your berry patch hinges largely on this crucial step. So let's dive into the nitty-gritty of preparing your garden for a bountiful berry harvest. First up is choosing the right location. This is a game of balance. You see, berry plants love the sun, but they also appreciate a bit of shade. Aim for a spot that gets around 6 to 8 hours of sunlight each day. And if you can, try to find a location that offers some protection from harsh afternoon sun and strong winds. Remember, a happy plant is a fruitful plant. Now let's talk about soil. Berry plants are not too picky but they do have a preference for well-draining, slightly acidic soil. A simple soil test can help determine your soil's pH levels. If it's too alkaline, adding organic matter like compost or well-rotted manure can help bring it down to the desired levels. And speaking of organic matter, it's a great way to enrich your soil with essential nutrients. Mix in a generous amount before planting. Your berries will thank you for it. Drainage is another important factor to consider. Berries don't like wet feet, so avoid areas where water tends to pool. If your garden has poor drainage, consider using raised beds or planters. They provide excellent drainage and can also make tending to your berries a bit easier. Lastly, consider the space each type of berry plant will need. Strawberries, for instance, do well in containers or small plots, while blueberries and raspberries need more room to spread their roots. So, with a little planning and preparation, you can create the perfect environment for your berry plants. And remember, a well-prepared garden is the first step towards a fruitful harvest. Now that your garden is prepped, it's time to plant your berries. Planting your berries correctly is the first step towards a successful harvest. You've prepared your garden, now it's time to get those hands dirty and start planting. Let's walk through the process together, shall we? First off, let's talk about the hole, the cradle for your berry plant. The size of the hole is crucial. Make it twice as wide and just as deep as the root ball of your plant. This gives the roots plenty of room to spread out and establish themselves. Remember, a comfy plant is a happy plant. Next, place your berry plant in the hole. Be gentle. 
These babies are tender and a little love goes a long way. Make sure that the top of the root ball is level with the ground. This is important because it helps your plant absorb the right amount of water and nutrients. Now let's cover our plant. Backfill the hole with the soil you dug out. Tamp it down gently around the base of the plant to remove any air pockets. Air pockets can dry out the roots and we don't want that. We're aiming for firm, not compact. There's a difference. Spacing is another key component in the planting process. Each type of berry has its own comfort zone. For instance, strawberries like to be about 12 inches apart, while blueberries prefer a spacious 6 feet. It might seem like a lot, but trust me, they'll thank you later with a bountiful harvest. Once you've got your plants in the ground and spaced correctly, give them a good drink of water. This helps settle the soil and gives your plants a nice welcome to their new home. Finally, add a layer of mulch around the base of the plants. This helps retain moisture, suppress weeds, and keeps the soil cool. It's like a cozy blanket for your plants. Congratulations! You've just planted your first berries. But the work doesn't stop here. Your berry garden is taking shape. But like any good thing, it needs care and patience to truly thrive. Stay tuned as we delve into the next steps of caring for your berries. Proper care is essential for a bountiful berry harvest. Now, you've planted your berries and they're starting to grow. But your work is far from over. The key to a thriving berry patch is a consistent care regimen. Watering, fertilizing, pruning and pest control are all integral elements of this process. Let's start with watering. Most berries like strawberries and blueberries prefer moist but well-drained soil. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other diseases, while underwatering can stress your plants, reducing their yield. A good rule of thumb is to water deeply once or twice a week depending on the weather, but remember every garden is different, so adjust as needed. Next, let's talk about fertilizing. Berries are heavy feeders, meaning they require plenty of nutrients to produce those juicy fruits we all love. A balanced, slow-release fertilizer applied in early spring and again in summer should do the trick for most berries. However, blueberries are unique. They prefer acidic soil, so they'll benefit from a fertilizer specifically designed for acid-loving plants. Pruning is another crucial aspect of berry care. It not only maintains plant size but also encourages better fruit production. For strawberries remove the runners to focus the plant's energy on fruiting. For blueberries, raspberries and blackberries prune in late winter or early spring, removing old or damaged canes to allow new growth. Lastly, let's tackle pest control. Berry plants can attract a variety of pests from aphids to birds. Regularly inspect your plants for signs of pests and take action as soon as you notice a problem. Non-toxic solutions like neem oil or insecticidal soap can be effective against many common pests. And to keep birds at bay, consider netting your berry plants once they start to fruit. With regular care, you'll soon see your berries flourish. And remember, a well-tended garden is a productive garden. So, roll up your sleeves, get out there, and show your berries some love. They'll reward you with a bountiful harvest. The fruits of your labor are finally ready to be enjoyed. Isn't it rewarding? The thrill of seeing the fruits of your hard work is truly unparalleled. When it comes to harvesting, timing is key. Strawberries are best picked when they're a vibrant red, while blueberries should have a deep, almost midnight blue hue. As for raspberries and blackberries, wait until they're fully ripe and easily come off the stem. But remember, the real joy is in the eating. There's nothing quite like biting into a juicy berry you've grown yourself, tasting the sweet and tangy explosion of flavor that's a testament to your gardening prowess. Use them in pies, jams, or simply enjoy them fresh off the vine. They're a delicious reward for all your hard work. And there you have it, a fruitful journey from planting to harvest. Happy berry gardening.